Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. Subscribe to the channel for more sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now we got a top 25 reaction for week three in the AP poll, and it's very interesting. You've got Georgia leapfrogging Alabama for the number one spot in college football. Now I don't know if I agree with that because Alabama did win a big game on the road at Texas, and Texas is a good team, and they actually put Texas in the top 25, which we'll get to that later. But Alabama's not number one any longer, which is surprising because they've been number one for a long time. But Georgia's now the number one team. Again, Alabama's number two. Ohio State's number three. Ohio State blew out a bad team. Michigan's number four. They blew out a bad team. Clemson's number five. They stay at five. I still think Clemson should have stayed at number four, but they're not at four anymore, but they're fifth now. Oklahoma's six. They beat a bad team. USC moved up to seven. So, again, this is like the Pac-12's big team. They have to win, keep winning if they want to make the playoff. They beat Stanford on the Royals. A big win for USC. Good win. And if they can continue it, maybe they can make the playoff. Oklahoma State's at number eight. Oklahoma State's a good football team. They beat Arizona State. I don't know if eight's the right number for them, but they are number eight. Kentucky's at number nine. They won at Florida, and they moved up big. I agree with that. Kentucky. Mark Stoops has got them rolling, and if they can go 11-1 and with a loss only to Georgia, maybe they can make the playoff. Arkansas is at number 10. Uh, Arkansas, they, they beat South Carolina. They've been really good. Sam Pittman, I mean, it's going to be tough for them in the SEC West to go 11-1, but, man, I really hope Arkansas can keep winning because they are just a great team. And, unfortunately for them, they're just in a tough conference, but if they weren't in as hard of a conference, in the West anyway, in the SEC, if they're in the East, I could definitely see them making the playoff. Michigan State's at 11. Michigan State hasn't really played anybody yet, but they're going to have a tougher test this week at Washington. BYU's the number 12 for beating Baylor. That was a big win for BYU. I actually was wavering on that game because when they lost, when they lost their two receivers, I didn't think they were going to win, but I did pick BYU to beat Baylor, and they did. That was a really, really big win for the Cougars. Miami's at 13, beat a bad team. Utah's down to 14. They blew out... Uh, Southern Utah, but they moved it down one for I have no idea why they just did. Tennessee's at 15. Tennessee, uh, they beat Pittsburgh on the road, so I definitely can see why they moved them up. Tennessee uh, is looking like a really, really good team. Hendon Hooker can play. And Tennessee, again, as same with Kentucky. If they can go 11-1, they can maybe make the playoff as a backdoor team. NC State at 16. NC State won uh, over a bad team after they uh, barely beat ECU. Baylor's down to 17. They dropped eight spots for losing to BYU. That's a little harsh. I don't know if they should have dropped that far for losing on the road at BYU, but they did. Florida's down to 18 for losing to Kentucky. See, that's what I don't understand. Baylor dropped eight spots for losing at BYU, but Florida only dropped six spots for losing to Kentucky at home. You, you would think Florida would drop a little bit more for losing at home, but who knows. Wake Forest is at 19. Uh, they they beat uh, who did they beat they beat Vanderbilt they won beat Vanderbilt on the road that was a good win that was a good win for Wake Forest but I don't know Wake Forest I mean 19 maybe Vanderbilt's not that good so I don't know if they should have moved up that much but they did Ole Miss is at 20 they beat a bad team Texas is the first team to leap from unranked to ranked since like 1997's Missouri team and I think they deserve it they should have beat Alabama if everything had gone their way but it just didn't happen but Texas is now at 21 I'm glad they're ranked they played fantastic but they're gonna have to keep playing well to continue to stay ranked Penn State's at 22 Penn State moves up from unranked to ranked for beating Ohio I guess they just felt that Penn State deserved to move up that much because so many teams lost Pittsburgh's down to 23 for losing to Tennessee at home Texas A&M's down to 24th for losing to Appalachian State at home. This this one, maybe they should have been unranked. I don't know. I, I know it's hard to drop from sixth to out, but Appalachian State, I mean, that that was a terrible loss, but they're still in the in the poll, and I guess I can see it because it's hard to drop a team more than 18 spots. That That's a steep drop, but a and M's probably not going to hang out in these rankings if they can't even beat Appalachian State because every team in the SEC besides maybe Vanderbilt is probably better than that. And Oregon's back at 25th for beating a really poor team. Oregon, uh, obviously they lost to uh, Georgia badly in week one, and they fell out of the poll, but now they're back in it. Other receiving votes, Marshall, because they beat Notre Dame, which I actually probably would have put Marshall over Oregon, but they did probably power five by. Cincinnati is next. Appalachian State. Appalachian State, again, if they hadn't lost to North Carolina, they'd definitely be ranked for beating Texas A&M. Kansas State. North Carolina. North Carolina, I still don't know why they're this close to being ranked when they're 3-0, but they haven't beaten anybody. I guess Appalachian State, they did beat them, and they just beat Texas A&M, but still. 
North Carolina just hasn't looked impressive. Mississippi State, Oregon State. Oregon State's improved. If they keep winning, they're going to get ranked. Florida State, Minnesota, Washington State, Notre Dame. It's Notre Dame falling out again, losing to Marshall. That was a steep, steep drop. Air Force, Texas Tech, big win over Houston. I'm surprised they're not higher. Wisconsin fell out of the poll for losing to Washington State. Iowa State, Auburn, and Purdue round out the rankings. And quickly on the coaches' poll, Alabama is still number one in the coaches' poll because the coaches are not going to move them down. And I, and I agree, kind of agree with that because they did win, but still it wasn't super impressive, so that's why the AP dropped them. Georgia 2, Ohio State 3, Clemson 4, Michigan 5, Oklahoma 6, Oklahoma State 7. USC is 8th in this one. They're not 7th as in the AP. Michigan State 9, they're higher in this one. Kentucky 10. Arkansas 11, NC State 12, Miami 13, BYU 14, Utah 15, Tennessee 16th in the coaches' poll. Ole Miss 17, Wake Forest is 18th, they're higher. Baylor's down to 19, that's the steeper drop than the AP. Texas is 20th, they were already ranked in the coaches anyway. Florida's down to 21, Texas A&M 22, Penn State 23, Oregon 24, Pitt 25. So not much difference there. Others receiving votes, Florida State, they're higher in this one. Cincinnati, Appalachian State, Air Force, Kansas State, Wisconsin, Marshall, Notre Dame, Mississippi State, Washington State, Houston, Texas Tech, Oregon State, Minnesota, TCU, Auburn. They got votes in the coaches, but they played poorly against a bad team last week, so the AP didn't have them in it. North Carolina, Syracuse. Syracuse probably should have gotten votes in the AP. They're playing really well, and if they keep playing well, they might move up. Washington, Iowa State, and UCLA. UCLA didn't have it in the AP either. So very interesting results. Like I said, I can't believe Alabama dropped from number one in the AP, but some people said it would happen. I didn't think it would, but they did. A lot of other results. I can't believe Notre Dame and A&M fell as far as they did. I can't, I'm can't. i glad Texas is back in the top 25. They should be for their efforts the way they played. And a lot of big risers from other teams, especially in the SEC like Kentucky, Arkansas, Tennessee, and BYU moved up as well. Comment down below what you think about the AP top 25 and what you think about it, whether they got it right or whether some teams should be higher or lower. I might do my poll next week if I can, but I ain't sure. It's going to be tough for me to figure out how to rank these teams. It just takes a lot of time, and I might try to do it. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content, like this video, and I will see you next time.